What's up? Now, a lot of you probably don't know or don't care, but everybody's putting the Houston Rockets and they going to have Melo. They already in the going to play Golden State in the Western Conference Finals. People are already making the brackets for the playoffs based off what happens in the offseason. And that's what people normally do. That's not a surprise here, but how could you write off the San Antonio Spurs so quick? Now, I do have uh, Houston finishing above them like in the regular season but in the playoffs so it's an entirely different experience we've seen what happened when it gets hot for Harden Harden seems to freeze up don't know where to go with the basketball and he just loses himself and shuts down and they reward him with money. <laughs> so I uh, wonder why the owner wants to sell the team. But, yeah, so they're trying to win a championship by buying one. <laughs> and what people forget is that the game of basketball, the coaches, the staff, running plays, execution, all of these things matter. They want this running gun arcade league. But people forget, you guys all forget, the San Antonio Spurs win. They have the quietest five NBA championships in history. It's not thrown in your face all the time. They barely talk about it. You hear about Kobe's five championships more than you ever would. You wouldn't even think San Antonio won one because the demeanor of the team, Popovich, Tim, these guys are low-key. They were so low-key, that was it. And no matter who they seem to lose each year, everybody be like, okay, this is the year the Spurs are going to suck. And they don't suck. They lose a piece, get another piece, and move on. And it, and it keeps moving. And they keep winning games. And you're like, how are they doing this? So a team like that lets you know that they're deep-rooted in coaching and following the plays and executing. And when you see the game that they play, you go, oh, substance over flash. That's how they play. It's very unselfish. It's moving of the basketball, making the defenders get out of position by passing and moving the ball around. And that beats street ball every time. That's going to get you to the ticket. That's going to get you to the next round of the playoffs. The game of basketball has always been that way. You have to sell out and believe in what you're trying to get accomplished. If you're there for individual accolades, San Antonio is not the place for you. They don't need anybody to go out and score 45 points a night. They need somebody who's going to play the right way every night. Win, lose, or draw. They will get the production out of their people. Manu has signed on for a two-year extension, and then that's it for his career. I think he's done. So Manu is coming back. And I don't know how long they can go. Tony Parker is very broken down at this point, but they have pieces to come in and fill those gaps. So you got to ask yourself, are you one of those people who believe the Houston Rockets are better than San Antonio Spurs right now. Even if you want to go ahead and put Melo on the team. On paper, in the regular season, they might be. But when them playoffs start and they might have to match up with, with Houston, 
I mean, Houston might have to match up with San Antonio in the playoffs. I fear for that matchup. If you're Houston, this is not ideal for you. That team's hard to beat. Very hard. You got to have a perfect game to beat San Antonio. I mean, how many years in a row they have won over 50 games? People forget they're winning 60 something games. When you normally in the NBA, when you win 60 games, you win the NBA championship. You got an NBA trophy you're hosting up above your head. They won 60 some games right alongside when Golden State was playing. They were neck and neck. Golden State didn't even clinch. You got two teams in the West winning 60 plus games. How is that? <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, they have like the most wins of anybody. Popovich is going to probably break all those records. He doesn't look like he's ready to retire from coaching. The man eats, breathes, and sleeps basketball. Now, granted, Houston has a lot of talent on the court, but they have not played together yet. They have to find a way to jail and know who's going to do what in what situation. San Antonio, they don't have that problem. And that's very key going into a season. How many times we've seen players move to teams and everybody say, oh, they're going to take off, and it don't mesh out well. Hence the New York Knicks. <laughs> I'm out.